He is a talented actor whose work includes Finding Neverland, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and Bates Motel. Now he stars on the new ABC hit drama, The Good Doctor. Please welcome Golden Globe nominated actor Freddie Highmore. <laughs> Does anyone look cool coming out doing this? Yes, right you look, just like you. You look cool. I always feel like how you know. No, you looked very cool. <laughs> Don't worry, you did it. You did, I did it. I did my best. Yeah. Um, There's too many people to say hello to everyone. I was telling Ryan about the last time you were here. You probably don't remember, but we have footage of you of the last time you were okay. here. Okay. So let's take a walk down memory lane. <laughs> <laughs> so that was 05. Yeah. Yeah. 2005. No high fives. It's, it's, no it's, high fives. It's just, uh... I don't even know if we had an audience then. <laughs> Where were you? You were in a, a soccer uniform. It, I think like. that looked like the England soccer. Yeah, that was probably the time where I still had dreams of becoming a professional footballer. Soccer That's what player. you wanted to do for a, yeah. for a moment, right? And then I guess it didn't quite work out. So well, I think it, so your life is going so. okay anyway. You celebrated, what, 26 years yes. old? Valentine's yeah. Day? That's right. Oh. Wow. So is it... Is it a blessing or a curse to have a birthday on Valentine's Day? I think it's a blessing. I mean, over the years, you've, um, you always get to spend Valentine's Day with someone and you always get a card. Even if it's sometimes auntie or something, you're like, hey, this isn't the one that I want. Like, where is <laughs> yeah. it? Um, but no, I think it's been a good yeah, thing. Yeah, that's a yeah. good way to look at it. Yeah, for sure. And you're working in Vancouver and living there. I love Vancouver. It's, yeah, it's beautiful, um, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Everyone loves Vancouver. Yeah. It's, um, it's a very healthy city, I guess, with the mountain air, or at least it tricks you into thinking that yeah. you're healthy. You kind of don't do any exercise and just take a breath and think, this is it. Like, that's all I need. And, yeah. and it's a very easy walking city, too. You can walk yeah. everywhere from one side of the city to the other. It really is. No, it's a nice, it's a nice little small, I guess it's become home. The show I did before, The Good Doctor, was, was there as well. So, yeah. Oh, um, no kidding. Yeah, so it's, ah, it's been six great. years or something that, yeah. I've, that I've been... Uh, Kelly's just showing me a picture of her husband, Mark, on the way back to Vancouver. Vancouver to mm -hmm. work. It seems like so many people are coming from Vancouver when they're on the show. So many shows are shooting there. Do you guys, are you all on one big compound <laughs> campus where you're doing these shows? No, there are, too, there are too many shows shooting in Vancouver, so there aren't enough stages. So we're actually out in the middle of, uh, I don't know where your husband is, but we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Um, kind of nearer the U.S. than we are yeah. nearer Vancouver itself. He's uh, he's in the middle of nowhere, but in the opposite direction, I, see. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Further into Yeah, he's deeper, further in, deeper, <laughs> deeper into BC. Vancouver. Yeah. Um, but no, it's, it, I guess, I'm sure if you listen to the soundtrack, we're, we're in this old warehouse that's right next to a railway, and if you listen hard enough, you can probably hear the trains endlessly oh, going, no kidding. going past our hospital set. And we try and stop, but when they're like... 30 minutes long and you think, well, we've got to just keep on going, yeah. Wow, that's funny. So you write, you direct, you obviously act. Did you mm -hmm. always know that's what you wanted to do? I guess it's been a more recent desire to be involved in the in the wider process. I think that's what that's what Bates Motel gave me was the kind of yeah, the desire to to, to be involved beyond acting. You played such a dark character mm -hmm. on that show. Did you enjoy that? I, I would think that as an actor, playing those uh, very dark, evil characters would be fun, almost. Yes, yeah, and somewhat cathartic, maybe, yeah. too. Yeah, right, um, But. But no, I guess it's it's a nice, it's probably a healthier state to be in within Sean's sort of optimistic um, outlook on the world yeah. as opposed to thinking that you're going to be killing someone every day. It's, <laughs> it's probably a healthy thing to move on and not play a serial killer forever more. Yeah. We'll be right back with Freddie talking about the good doctor after the break. Stay with us. For great deals on travel, just go to Priceline. For up to 40% off flights on top airlines, for up to 60% off hotels and popular destinations, you'll find the best savings on the Priceline app. So download the Priceline mobile app and go. Wednesday on Live, Olympic ice dancing team Maya and Alex Hibutani. Next Live. Freddie Highmore in The Good Doctor. 
And this is a, it's a complex character that you're playing who has autism, also is a savant. Yes. So how, how do you study to do that? I guess we all realized the immense responsibility that we were taking on by, by portraying someone like Sean on television. So uh, not only you know speaking to specialists and having a full-time consultant who was on board in the pilot and, and throughout the production now, but you know David and I would trade pieces of literature back and forth and documentaries that we found useful. But at the same time, remaining aware that Sean will never be able to represent everyone who sure. is on the spectrum right. or everyone who is a, a savant and it's kind of building him out in this first season as his own individual person and, and what his particular idiosyncrasies are. I'm just thinking of you as an actor, it has to be so challenging for you to sort of portray so much of what we see as the audience, you don't see as the actor. You know, like that did not pop up in front of you. No. So <laughs> you had to really yeah, I always, I always, I guess I feel for the other actors on the show yeah. because Sean is so internal and in his own world. I feel like they're probably thinking, are you here in this scene with me? You're, right. <laughs> you're in your own little, little, little world, little space. Yeah. And congratulations on your Golden Globe nomination. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And you're also a producer on the show, as if you're not busy enough trying to act the character, you're yes. producing as well, so. No, and, and I guess in, uh, in that way, I feel like my responsibility is just supporting David Shaw, our you know great leader, our main writer, showrunner, in in terms of how best to portray his vision over time, and uh, and also yeah. staying on budget. I mean, that's important too, <laughs> right. you know, as a producer. No, you just got to <laughs> make a good show. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing. Everyone just that. is like, "What yeah. do you mean?" Like, <laughs> ABC, uh, yeah. It is a great show. The Good Doctor, Mondays, 10 p.m. ABC.